Hey, what's going on? Mike Hobbs here. And in this video, I want to talk specifically about the Aweber free account. So uh, a lot of people already have the paid account. They've been loving Aweber for, for many, many years. So what about the free account? They just started this program recently and they offered a free account now for people to use. But I want to talk about the limitations, if it's worth it, if it's worth upgrading instead of using the free account. Uh, but I will tell you that there are some features and some workarounds to make the free account work until you get your list above 500, then you're gonna have to upgrade. But anyway, so let me show my screen real quick. And so this is a Weber back office. This is what it looks like when you have a free account. And so let me first talk about some uh, some limitations with the with the Aweber. So one of the limitations is if you go over to the list options here, and I click on it, you'll notice down here uh, under confirmation message, you'll notice right here it has a, it's basically highlighted in, on, it says send a confirmation to subscribers via API, and you need to upgrade to Aweber Pro in order to use the, to turn this off. So if you want to use the free level of Aweber, you have to, you're basically forced to do a double opt-in. So what that means is if you're using the API system, uh, what that means is if you connect it to like a funnel builder tool, like this is the one that we use, the HBA funnel builder. And I'll have a link to this in the description if you guys want to check that out. But anyway, so this form right here is sending the leads over to Aweber via API connection. And so, I would be forced to use a double opt-in in this situation if I'm using the API connection. So that is one limitation, but check this out. Here's a workaround. The signup forms, as you can see, you can turn that off or on, whatever. So you can turn the signup forms off. So the workaround is to create a signup form and they actually have some amazing forms that are already designed in here. Right, so you click on for my website right here. So you click on for my website because you're gonna put this on our on your own website. And once it loads here, I will create one real quick just to show you what I'm talking about. So let's just create this one. Now, obviously you could do a ton of design. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different templates you can use. Let's just load this one real quick. And I'm not gonna do any design right now, but you can change all these colors. You can add fields in here. You can do whatever you want. So let's just go to step two. And I'm just gonna go to step three. And I'm going to, okay, so it says you have to be published. So let's go ahead and click on publish real quick. So save the form. And then form has been saved. Let's continue on. Continue, and then right here where it says, I will install my form, you just click on that, choose the raw HTML version right here, and make sure it includes the styles. And then I just copy this whole form here, and I can go over to whatever funnel builder tool you're using, but let me just show you this one, so I can go grab a code. And obviously I would need to change the colors and stuff like that, otherwise it will look kind of horrible. So let me delete this form real quick. And then we'll click on, so we'll just move this down a little bit and then we'll click on save and then I'll show you what this looks like. And as you can see, it throws it in there and then I need some spacing at the bottom. So obviously this is not a funnel builder tutorial, but if I wanted some spacing at the bottom of the form, I could just throw a little spacer and let's go look at that now. Okay, so there we go. Now, obviously I would change the colors, right? I would change the background and make it look decent but that is how the workaround. So if you don't want to use double opt-in in the free level of Aweber, you just create a signup form. But just remember, everything is controlled in the signup form when you're doing this. So you got to make sure you have in the settings, like where do you want them to go after they opt in? So those are just some things you're going to want to set a custom page and put the thank you page URL right here. If they're already on your list, you're gonna to have to put all that stuff and customize all those different things inside of Aweber, not whatever funnel building tool you're using. So that's one downside to not using an API system, but it is an option. So if you are using the free level of Aweber, you can use the signup forms and, uh, and, and that's a pretty cool workaround. 
All right, so some other things you can do in the free level, you have still have the the email templates. So when you're when you're sending a an email broadcast, you can still design templates and have the same template for each email or design a template and save it in here. So you still have access to the email templates. Uh, one other, I guess, one other thing that you need to be aware of is all of your emails will have a powered by Aweber at the bottom. But one cool thing about that, so even though it has a powered by Aweber in your emails, one cool thing is if you go over to your, your account, my account, and right here, look at this, customer referral ID. You can actually go sign up for an Aweber affiliate account and you can throw your ID right here and make commissions from that. So some people look at that as a downside. When you upgrade to Pro, it takes that powered by Aweber out of your emails, but I actually think that's a benefit. So the free level is actually a benefit because you can put your, your referral code here and if people click on that, you get a sale and you'll get a 30% commission, I believe it is, right? Um, so one other downside and one other workaround that I'll talk about in this video is, so right here, uh, if you look on up here at the list, you only get one list, okay? So some people are looking at that like, well, I want I have different lead magnets or I have different things that that I want to do inside of here. Well, guess what? You can still do it. There is a workaround. So just because you can only have one list, check this out. There is an option. So if you come down over here to what's called campaigns, check this out. You can click on campaigns. And as you can see, I have multiple campaigns here that I have set up, but, and you can create as many as you want in here. But here's the cool thing about these campaigns. If I go into one, you'll notice that you can choose on subscribe to the list or the way that I have it, or you can actually choose tag. So you have two options, either a tag or on subscribe. So the subscribe would be anyone who gets on your list and you only have one list, but the workaround here is you can create a tag for each lead magnet you're selling. So let's say you have, and let me go into my other account where I actually have uh, some examples of this, but this is, it works in the free account. So I wanted to show you this. So let me go log into my other account. All right, so I'm in my other account and check this out. So even though I have a paid account, I still only use one list, right? And uh, for all of my leads. And But what I do is I create different campaigns. And as you can see, this one's the all-in-one and the trigger starts when all-in-one tag, and you can actually create these tags in your signup forms. So you can, you can create a signup form and it will send a tag to your email autoresponder when someone opts in, and then it will start this campaign. So these are two different emails that go out when someone opts into my all-in-one business capture page. And then I have a 21 video ideas capture page where when 21 ideas tag is sent, then it will start this campaign and then they'll get these two different emails. And you can actually have unlimited of these on one list. So you could just start these autoresponder campaigns based on tags instead of lists. So, it just makes it a lot easier. So I actually chose, because I knew that you can do that, I actually chose to do all of my leads on one list and just send them different campaigns based on the tag they come in. So that's actually a pretty cool feature that you can do and it's a workaround to getting around only being able to have one list when you're, when you're using a free Aweber account. So that's what I recommend. So there's a lot of cool benefits to the free Aweber account. So I highly recommend you at least start with it, start using the web forms, and then once you get above 500 subscribers, then you can upgrade to the paid account, and then uh, you can use the API tools and some of the other functionality of the, the pro version. Uh, obviously, I like the paid version because I like having an API connection personally because then I, in my funnel builder, I can use the, I can design my forms inside the funnel builder, so that's why I recommend a paid account. But again, you can do the workarounds using the web form, using these uh, tags to start your campaigns, and you can still have 
is unlimited lead magnets or different things out there. So anyway, I hope you got value from this video. I'll have an AWeber link in the description if you would like to pick it up. It's seekprosperity.com forward slash AWeber. It's free. You can get the free level or you can get the paid level if you if you do that. And I'll have other resources in the description and in the pinned comment below. So make it a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.